Hey everybody, this is section 8.3, Common Logarithms. Your boy Mr. B here, uh, and I'm happy to be here. I'm glad um, I'm glad that we've made it this far, and uh, let's let's jump right into it. We've, let's review a bit. We uh, we want to use a calculator to evaluate each expression to the nearest thousandth. So we got log base 10. So we got log here. We're going to type in a base 10, and then of 18, and you hit enter, and that's uh, it turns into one point. You can see what it turns into, and actually the log uh, rounding to the nearest thousandth, we just need three decimal places. So looking at that two, it doesn't round the five up, so it just stays like that. Log base, I, I, I'm, you know what? I'm not even sure. I'm just going to type in 120. I wonder if it will actually, if I'm required to type in the base. Oh, it auto fills the ten. Oh, that was a fun little experiment for me right there. Okay, so boom, 2.079, and there it is. Let's do, so we don't even have to type in the log. If it's base 10, we just go 0 0.003 and hit enter, and that's negative. Uh, and we can, we can have negative outputs because we know that in order to go from 10 to a, such a small number, a small positive number like 0 0.003, you would have to have an exponent of like an, a negative exponent because negative exponents indicate, um, you know, fractions and reciprocals, which is, you know, what this would be. Um, it's a very small number. All right, let's move right along. Let's. Um, I'm, there's a new technique that I got going on. It's uh, taking the log of both sides. So if you were to take the log, you can multiply both sides by a five or ten. You can divide both sides by five or whatever it is you want. You can subtract both sides. You can you can take the you can square both sides. You can take the square root of both sides. And hey, you can also take the log of both sides. Log of if uh, a equals b, then log of a is equal to log of b. That's the property. So we're going to take the log of both sides. And so if we start off with an equation like this, you notice if if the if 100 if this were 125, we'd be able to say, oh, we can easily re rewrite 125 as five to the third, and we have the same bases, and that would be great. But here you can't do that. We don't uh, we don't have a nice and easy way to turn this number into a power of five. So we're going to use logs, and uh, that's going to help us. Because remember, logs help us find the exponent. <clears throat> we're going to take the log of both sides, so that was if a equals b, then log of a equals log of b. And um, it doesn't even matter what base it is, we're just going to use log base 10 because it's easier and it's common. Um, but now, and remember, we have all these uh, really great logarithm rules and properties that we've had. Uh, if we have an exponent on the inside, it turns into multiplication on the outside. Oh, and that's going to make things a whole lot easier. This is 4x minus 2 times log base 10 of 5 is equal to log base 10 of 120. Now, uh, now it's just a question of solving for x. Well, when, instead of distributing, you might think, oh, let's distribute. And uh, I think it's actually easier just to divide both sides by log base 5. So this is log base 100 of 120 times log base 10 of 5 um, with a division here in a fraction, 4x minus 2. You can add both 2 to both sides. You can uh, divide both sides by 4. And if you actually type this in your calculator, this is what it might look like um, on, a, on Inspire. On an Alex, uh, you would do something very similar. You, we would, let's use parentheses. So I'm going to type the whole thing in, 2 plus, and then... I don't even have to type in the 10. Log base 120. And then let's go divided by... Oops, I need to exit the log. Very important. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to do a fraction here. Control divide gives me that fraction. I'm going to do a log here. And then log base 10 of 5. And then I'm going to do divided by 4. And if you hit enter... Ooh, you get the same. You get the 1.243 and round it up to 1.244. Okay, so that's how you solve equations. You can take the log. The new technique is taking the log of both sides. Biology. There are initially a hundred or a thousand bacteria in a culture. The number of bacteria doubles each hour. The number of bacteria n represents after ten after t hours is given by n is equal to one thousand. That's the starting amount. Doubles is two here, times uh, raised to the t power. 
how long will it take the culture to increase to 50,000 bacteria? Well, if the, you can't, so we want to we want to start at 1,000, we want to go up to 50,000, and we want to know uh, the doubling time, uh, how, what would that look like? You can divide both sides by 1,000 to get 50 equals 2 to the t. And notice, if the problem were to say something like, um, how long will it take for something to double uh, to until it gets to you know fifty times of its original amount? Then uh, it would be it would look like this. There would be no number in front, a thousand. There would be no fifty thousand. That's maybe that's a lesson for another day. We got fifty equals two to the t, and so you know fifty is not a number you can easily turn into um, base two. If it were sixteen, then that would be great because sixteen is two to the fourth. If it was thirty-two, that's two to the fifth. But the number after that is 64, that's 2 to the 6th. And so this number of 50 is going to be somewhere in between like 5, five and 6, because it's somewhere because the 50 itself is in between 32 and 64. So we, we really can't rewrite this like we could in previous uh, lessons as uh, 2 to the something. So we're just going to take, a, we're going to use the technique we had from before, and that's take the log of both sides. Log base 50 is equal to log of 2 to the t. Now we have this uh, really awesome property that says log of 2 to the exponent of t turns into t on the, on the outside. So let's divide both sides by log of 2 here because it's multiplication. And so uh, when you type it in, you get log of 50 and then divided by log of Two. Enter, and that's what you get. It is somewhere between five and six, and in fact, you can get uh, a much more exact answer: five point six four four hours. Um, so you can see uh, logs taking, taking using logs help us uh, help us out a lot. Um, let's use a calculator to evaluate each expression to the nearest thousandth. So um, log base three of five log base 5 of 6, log base 4 of 0 0.9. If you want to use a calculator, you really got to use the right calculator. And check this out. There's some calculators that can do this and some that can't. Now, you, you know me, I love me some Desmos. And so you just type in log base 3 of 5 and ching, yes, it gives you the right answer. 1.46, no hassle, no mess, no fuss. And as you can see, I already did, uh, um, you, you can type in, log and then uh, we need log you can type in whatever base you want log base 3 of 5 so 3 to the what exponent gives you 5 no, no easy to calculate like 3 to the if the question were 3 to the what exponent gives you 9 that'd be easy to do it's 10 it's a 2 because 3 squared is 9 but this is log this is a 3 to the what power gives you 5 and you know, I can't do that in my head no one can really. It's uh, one point four six four nine seven. You know, it's a exponent somewhere between one and two. So the, you can do this very easily on the Inspire. You can do it pretty easily on Desmos. Uh, you just do it. Type in a subscript. So yeah, these are two great tools. However, these are two great tools that you can't use on quizzes and tests. The um, in my in my class. Uh, and you can't use them on the um, yeah. And similarly, uh, if we wanted to do this on the, uh, on the MacBook um, you know, scientific calculator here, it gives you only log base 10. So you try and there's no, like, no, there's no way to type in a log base of something other than 10. And then uh, on the Alex calculator also, bad news, you, there's only a log base 10 button as well. So um, unless someone finds it for me, I can't really find... Uh, on the Alex calculator, you can't do this calculation directly. So what we have to do, what we have to learn, and it's not just because of um, calculators that don't have enough buttons for, for our uses, there's also uh, significant reasons why we, we would want to change uh, the, the base of a logarithm. That's what we're going to do here. There's a formula, and it looks like this. Let me give you the example first. So if you wanted to type in log base 3 of 5, like I did here, and you don't have the actual buttons to do it, what you can do is you can take, instead of log base 3, you can change them both to log base 10s. And the log base 10s are all over the place. That's like, 
uh, even <laughs> this is my least favorite calculator of all time right here, the Mac iOS calculator. But even this terrible calculator still has a log base 10 button. So if you wanted to do this, log base 3 of 5, and you don't have a you don't have a button to change it to the base, you could say just log base 10 of 5 and log base 10 of 3. Notice this, the base is here in the bottom, and the power over here is in the numerator. So, generally, any number, uh, if you have log base of any base A, if you turn uh, and you want to change it to a log, a log of different base, it would look like this, log base B of N, log base B of A. So, uh, using the so the instructions might be use the change of base formula to compute round your answer to the nearest thousandth and use the calculator to evaluate each expression to the nearest thousandth. That seems redundant. I think I'm just going to delete that. All right. So log base three of five. If you don't have the special buttons the Inspire has, if you're using doing this on Alex.com, especially for some sort of quizzing uh, situation where you're not have the, don't have the Inspire, uh, what you can do is you can change the base. So this turns into log base 10 of 5. We've got log base 10 buttons here. Log base 10 button there and log base 10 button here. Log base 10. And so you can take the log base 10 of 5 and the log base 10 and divide it by the log base 10 of 3. And you get the actual answer, 1.465 rounded. Uh, if the base is 5 and you don't have a log base 5 button, then you can just take the log base 10 of 6 and the log base 10 of 5 and divide them and you get this. Again, here, if you don't have a log base 4 button or a way to change the base, you can just use log base 10 and then divide 0 0.9 by the log of 0 0.9 by the, the log of 4 and you get this uh, negative answer. So, um, when we get this, I want to... Um, I want to show you one more technique for solving. Solve for y in the equation below, round your answer to the nearest 100th. Here's another technique. Um, another technique would be if you're going to take log base 3 of 5, you could set it equal to x uh, if it's not all, already there. So we know that we have uh, the ability to change this um, change this equation to an exponential form. That's one thing we can always do, and maybe this is going to be a lot easier. Log uh, log base 3 of 5 is equal to x. Well, the base is 3, the base is in the basement, and then you have the, pow uh, the power of 5, and the x is the exponent. It's all by itself. 3 to the x is equal to 5. So, now that we have that, uh, we have an equation, and we can actually take the log base 10 of both sides. That's a technique that we, uh, that we introduced earlier. Taking the log base 10 of both sides turns into this. And, and log base 10 of A is equal to log base 10 of B. So that's log of 3x is equal to log of 5. Using a property, we know that an exponent on the inside becomes multiplication on the outside. This is x times log base 10 of 3 is equal to log base 10 of 5. And so then we can say x is equal to log base 10 of 5 divided by log base 10 of 3. Now, if you so that's kind of the long way. Notice if you wanted if you wanted to, you could use the change of base formula to go from here to here in one step. If you recognize that this, um, if you if you are unable to uh, to solve this immediately, what you could do is you could just jump straight here with a log with a change of base formula. There, um, this is log base ten of five divided by log base ten of three. Change of base formula. And so then put that in the calculator and you get your answer. I want to show you two ways of doing this next thing. Uh, if we have base 12 raised to the negative 5y is equal to 2, 12 is not a number you can easily change into a power of 2. 16 it would be, or 8 would be, but 12 is right in the middle of those. And, and it's no easy exponent turns uh, 2, uh, raises um, 2 to the power to get 12. So, what you, there's two different ways of thinking about it. First of all, you could uh, say that the base is 12, and so here the base is 12, and then the, the power is 2, and the exponent is negative 5y. You can, you can change this to an exponential, this exponential equation into a logarithmic equation. Log base 12 of 2 is equal to negative 5y. Change of base turns at the property that we're using right here, that we just learned about, the, um, it, 2 is on the inside, so it's in the numerator, and 12 is at the base, so it becomes the new denominator here. 
log, log of 2 divided by log of 12 is equal to negative 5y. Well, that's, uh, and then you can divide both sides by negative 5 and get here. Um, and it's now, negative 5 is now in the denominator. It used to be multiplication here. So you can type all this into your calculator. Log base 2 um, divided by negative 5 of log 12 and get y. Another way of thinking about it would be, and you, you get your answer, and then that would be it. Another way of thinking about it would be you can take the log of both sides, log base 10 of both sides. It um, doesn't matter what you, I mean, this is something you can always do. You can always take the log of both sides, and if that's easier to think about, then this turns into um, log base 10 of 12 to the negative 5y is equal to log base 10 of 2. So this negative 5y turns in, it's an exponent on the inside, turns into multiplication on the outside. So we have y here, and we need to get y all by itself. So you can divide both sides by log 12. You can divide both sides by negative 5. And in any case, you get back to this expression as well. Let me show you how to type this into your calculator. Um, I'm going to do a big fraction bar. And then I'm going to type in log of 2. Oh, it doesn't like that. We've got to do control log base 10 of 2. All divided by negative 5, I should do the negative symbol here, negative 5 times control log base 10 of 12. And I'm not going to hit the, um, I'm not going to hit it here, but I am, yeah, uh, so I'm going to invite you to type this in and calculate it yourself. And uh, before I move on, I'm also going to say that um, my favorite, uh, my favorite flavor of um, egg and cheese sandwich on bagel is going to be blueberry egg and cheese. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried it. You probably haven't. It's kind of a, I, I just love blueberry egg and cheese because I love blueberry bagels and put an egg and cheese on it and you got to have a really great breakfast. So have fun with that one. Why don't you tell me what your favorite kind of breakfast sandwich is, especially on bagels? I don't know. It's kind of random. I'm scraping the bar the bottom of the barrel for these because I've done so many <laughs> so far. All right, let's check this out. 16 to the negative 4x is equal to 13 to the negative x minus 2. Um, now, before we, uh, I would have advised you to say, okay, let's change these both to the same base, but you can't. 13 to the what power is 16? It's so, it's, it, you can't do it in your head. It's impossible. But we can always take the log of both sides. And so if we're going to take the log of both sides, oh, it, you notice how there was like two ways of doing this here. That's because it was easy to say that the log base 12, like, it, there was one base and I knew it was 12. Uh, but here there would be two different bases. There's like, I don't, uh, there, how could you say the log, there's a log base 16 and the log base 13. I think it's just a lot easier and more straightforward to just take the log of both sides. We're going to go this right-hand route only. Taking the log base 10 of both sides gives you this. The exponents on the inside turns into multiplication on the outside for both of them. And then um, and then I actually am going to distribute here because I think I'm just trying to get uh, x all by itself. So here I've got a term, I've got three terms, and then I've got an x term here, an x term here, and a constant term here. This is, a, this is just a decimal that I'm going to eventually go and find. But uh, I could find it now, but the instructions are do not round any intermediate computations, meaning it's, a whole lot, it's going to be a whole lot more exact and uh, more precise if we just hit, hit enter once. We're going to move things around and eventually get down to here, and then when you could hit enter once, you'll get your exact answer, and you can round it at that point. But don't round it in the middle. Don't hit enter in the middle. We've got these three terms. We're going to move both x terms over to the same side. So I'm going to add x log 13 to both sides. We get x log 13 minus what was already on the left-hand side is equal to the constant, negative 2 log 13. I'm going to factor out an x. So you notice uh, if you were to distribute this x to these two terms on the inside, then that's, then that's what you would get right here. So I'm going to factor. The greatest common factor between these two terms is x. And so the leftovers are log 13 minus 4 log 16 is equal to the same thing over here. Then I'm going to divide both sides by what x is being multiplied by. And so we get x is equal to negative 2 log 13 divided by log 13 of minus 4 log 16. This is how you type it in. Let's control clear that. 
and I'm going to type in control divide by to give me a giant fraction. I'm going to type in the negative button here, negative 2 control log of the right arrow 13. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to do control log exit that 13 minus I have to exit the I have to go outside minus four times control log exit the base sixteen enter and we get approximately point six zero one seven nineteen uh, to the nearest hundredth that's just going to be point six zero. So the big idea, when you're solving um, exponential equations of different bases, you've got, uh, you, you can find opportunities to do a couple different things. Number one, you could also, you could always take the log of both sides. Number two, you could always use the change of base formula. Or number three, you could always change between exponential and logarithmic forms. Those are uh, three techniques that we're going to use interchangeably to solve equations. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you in class. Take care.